heard a rumor that there had been a veteran from Carter County who had been killed in the Vietnam War and no one knew his name. I didn't have a name, didn't have a family, and I started looking into it. His name was John Gibson. He was from Grandin, Missouri. So I searched then from the Vietnam Wall. Someone had left a message there to contact Michelle, and that's all I had to work on. My mom never would talk about it. Then one day I asked my grandma about it, and that's when she proceeded to tell me that he got killed in Vietnam. I went to the 25th Infantry Division website, asked if anyone knew a Corporal John A. Gibson. Gave me the name of Jim Nelson. I called Jim Nelson, and Nelson not only knew all about it, he was John Gibson's best friend and had a photograph somewhere in his file on John Gibson. It was a shock. I got a call from a Marine in Missouri. I w was wondering if you had a photograph of John Gibson. And I said, well, I'm sure I have a photograph. I said, why do you want it? He says, John Gibson's daughter has never had a photograph of her father for 50 years. And I said, John had a daughter? As I was on my way to Perryville and I was thinking about meeting Jim, I was real nervous. But I thought it was going to be so neat to actually meet somebody who could tell me stuff about my dad. He was a very brave soldier. I mean, he didn't complain at all in all the time I knew him in this photograph. I'm on the left, John's in the center. We were on the move all day and then awake all night, usually on ambush patrol. And then when they came out with that Thanksgiving meal from base camp, probably 15 miles by Chinook helicopter, that was the most memorable Thanksgiving meal. I've had good meals, Thanksgiving turkey meals, but nothing equals in 1967. That day, I was probably about 15 miles east of that. We might have been just a few miles apart, and here we are meeting in Perryville, Missouri. Oh gosh, when I first seen the wall, it was just, well, it brings tears to your eyes. Because it just, you cannot imagine that many people dying in one war. I believe it's 59,262 names on that. And you know, in the POWs, the missing in action, we never found 200 of them are from Missouri. Yeah, Missouri lost its, uh, in the Vietnam War, 1,418 young men here. And what it does is it really shows you when you look at all those names of all these kids, almost 40,000 were uh, 22 or under. We would have never known much about John, where he came from, and his uh, descendants if it hadn't been for Bill. They should realize that Bill is a one in a million. He follows up on all these stories like he did John Gibson. I take my job seriously. It's, it's almost like you're obsessed with doing it. It's terrible to have to go off to war for, for a year and then nobody pays attention, nobody is interested in what you've done. I do this work as a veteran service officer because I don't want anybody to be forgotten. I'll do this as long as I possibly can. My name is Bill Moriarty. I'm, these are my Ozarks. <laughs>